Angelina Jolie confirms she will star in Marvel's upcoming The Eternals alongside Game of Thrones star Richard Madden. Angelina Jolie confirmed her role in The Eternals during the Marvel panel at Comic-Con in San Diego on Saturday. The 44-year-old Oscar winner will be joining Richard Madden, Salma Hayek and Kumel Nanjani for the superhero saga due out in November 2020. I'm so excited to be here. I think what it means to be a part of the MCU, what it means to be an Eternal, what it means to be in this family, she said to the crowd of excited fans. We've all read the script and we know what the task is and so we are going to work very, very hard, she added, according to Just Jared. Angelina cut a glamorous figure in a black peekaboo cocktail dress that went off the shoulder at the right side. She graciously stretched her hand out to the excited fans as she crossed the stage before addressing the audience. The ex of Brad Pitt will be playing the character Thana in the film, which is to be directed by Chloe Zhou, according to The Hollywood Reporter. Also in the star-studded cast list of The Eternals is Don Lee, who is playing Gilgamesh and joined his co-stars on stage this Saturday. Eternals cast member Leah McHugh could be spotted standing between Don and Salma who plays the character Ajax. Marvel boss Kevin Feige introduced the project on stage and described the upcoming movie as full-on Jack Kirby. Jack Kirby was the comic book artist and writer who devised not only the Eternals but also such enduring Marvel characters as Captain America. Richard looked every inch the Hollywood hunk as he appeared on stage in a black t-shirt that showed off his toned arms. The Scottish heartthrob could be spotted standing on stage next to Kumail whose grey polo shirt clung to his muscle-bound torso. Like Angelina, Kumel did a bit of glad-handing with audience members as he strolled across the stage to join his fellow Eternals. Salma, whose stylish ensemble included a hard pendant, addressed the multi-ethnic casting of the film, according to 2Fab. She praised the Eternals' inclusion of people who never felt represented in superheroes, I am proud to have a diverse family. The Frida star spoke into the microphone while standing beside Brian Tyree Henry, who will also feature as one of the Eternals. Stood on Brian's other side was another Eternal Lauren Rydloff, the first deaf person to play a Marvel Cinematic Universe superhero. One of the other bombshell announcements at the panel was that Natalie Portman will come back to the Marvel Cinematic Universe. She will be in the fourth Thor movie subtitled Love and Thunder after being absent from the franchise since its 2013 second installment The Dark World. Thor, Love and Thunder director Taika Waititi revealed that Natalie, who hitherto played Jane Foster in the films, will become a female Thor. In a thrilling symbolic gesture, he handed Natalie a gigantic Thor hammer on stage, and the Oscar-winning actress posed up a storm with it. The Jackie star was stood beside Chris Hemsworth, who plays Thor himself, and Tessa Thompson, who features as Valkyrie. Chris and Tessa were recently united in this summer's Men in Black International after co-starring in Thor, Ragnarok and Avengers, and Game. Taika, who also directed Thor, Ragnarok, warmly held hands on stage with Chris, who cut a dapper figure in a navy blue suit. Chris complimented his suit with a blue gingham dress shirt and a complimentary tie, letting a bit of scruff grow onto his face. Thor's brother Loki is getting a self-titled spin-off movie to be released the spring after next, so Tom Hiddleston, who plays the character, hit the stage. Maharshala Ali was announced to be stepping into Wesley Snipes' shoes as Blade, so he joined the panel wearing a swanky print suit. The dashing Jeremy Renner could be spotted on stage to promote his upcoming event series about his Avengers character Hawkeye. Next fall we'll see the release of The Falcon and the Winter Soldier, about two characters played respectively by Anthony Mackie and Sebastian Stan. Both actors, who are veterans of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, spoke on stage together and demonstrated their chemistry. Anthony was holding the massive star and stripes shield commonly identified with Captain America, a character who has left the Marvel Cinematic Universe. I, Tanya star Sebastian was a dreamboat in a black and neon yellow shirt he left open over a black tee and matching jeans. Scarlett Johansson is getting a spin-off movie as her Avengers character Black Widow, whose real name is Natasha Romanova. 
She was there to plug the movie in a tight top with sheer portions that put her enviably chiseled midriff on display. The fiancé of Saturday Night Live's Colin Yost said, I don't think I could have played this iteration of Natasha ten years ago, it would have been a very different film. She shared, I get to play Natasha as a fully realized woman and in all of her many facets and I'm excited for fans to see the flawed side of her, and I'm looking to wipe out some of that red in my ledger. Rachel Weisz is making her Marvel Cinematic Universe debut with Black Widow, saying on stage, what's more exciting than the mythology of Marvel movies? Stranger Things star David Harbour, a Black Widow cast member, sported a massive beard as he headed out to speak in front of the audience. Benedict Cumberbatch spread his arms wide while hitting the stage in aid of his upcoming film Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. The Sherlock sex symbol who plays the title role in the movie, said his character will be unaware of what's coming at him in the story. Elizabeth Olsen is getting a spin-off show called WandaVision about her character Wanda Maximoff, so she joined the panel. She addressed the audience alongside the Da Vinci Code star Paul Bettany, who will be featuring with her in the series out 2021. Offstage, Paul and Elizabeth could be spotted standing for photos in front of a Comic-Con background with WandaVision co-star Tayona Paris. While in front of the same backdrop, Benedict trapped an arm warmly around Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness director Scott Derrickson. Jeremy, who is developing his singing career now, shot a rakish stare over his shoulder as the shutterbugs snapped away at him. In a dazzling Thor group shot to remember, Chris, Tessa, Taika and Natalie flashed their megawatt smiles while standing as a quartet.